that tournament? I think. Mm -hmm. <laughs> or go really far. Or no, was it Genesis? It might have been. It might have been main stage. Main stage, which Spargo got second in. But Maybe. regardless, Spargo, Spargo, <laughs> taking a game is quite an impressive feat, and clearly player four is quite an impressive player. Right. So I saw a Fatal Fury music uh, counter pick. So I think we might be seeing the Terry. Just kidding, BB's just kidding. hovering over Hero. He just yeah. likes the King of Fighters music, which fair enough. Yeah, I was hearing. Uh, I was playing friendlies with DeBuzz uh, earlier, and uh, DeBuzz was talking to VV about VV's character. VV saying, you know, obviously he, I feel like he can never fully drop Lucario, but he kind of want to make it so matchups are covered by Terry and Hero, and then he just has Lucario for matchups he's like super mega comfortable in from years of playing him. But mm -hmm. he's slowly trying to shift away from Lucario because you know that character just isn't really in the meta it isn't really that strong all things considered and when you're as good of a player as vivi you gotta start thinking what's best for my like career going forward you know so totally understand dropping a character that just isn't too strong especially when this hero has been on par as lucario if not better as a fleet oh absolutely it's been a incredibly consistent threat oh. and sometimes you just get thwacked just a rough situation for player four right there. His legend invincibility was starting to run out. He had to do something. And I think Thwack did in fact hit the ledge from there. Yeah, yeah, that's, it's like, I feel like when Thwack kills, like it's so, it's just a matter of like, you gotta hope you get the most godlike timing to live. Like otherwise you are dead on the ledge. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Again, and yeah. I mean, uh, from the first stock too, it was even scary because if player four did come up from ledge, Vivi had Accelerottle, so he could cover a lot of a lot of spaces. Just like that, Ooh. Accelerottle so strong. Yeah, in this matchup, you know, a lot of Peach's strengths can kind of get shut down. Peach, you know, famously kind of struggles with sorties, but uh, you know has a lot of mix-ups with Float to kind of get around it you know, to wave out of Sortie's ranges. But when you have Accelerado, I feel like you don't care about Float. You're that fast that you can just go right where the Peach is and fair her. Yeah, the entire stage is your oyster. Ooh, good jump read. Player 4 now without a jump, but he does make it back to stage. And this, you know, you would, you would not think that, like, looking at this match, you probably wouldn't realize that Player 4 is such a strong player. But the thing is, he is, and PV is still just dominating like this. Just shows how good VB is. Mm -hmm. Backer oh. not doing it quite yet. Yeah, I feel like Backer is one of those moves that always looks like it's going to kill, but kind of sends at a weird angle that isn't too favorable for taking stocks early. But was that, was that, it was either, I wasn't sure if that was Psych Up or the other one. That, that was Psych Up. And I want to say that was such an amazing grab by Player Fort. He perfectly read VV going for the Tomahawk grab. He knew. Vivi had Psych Up, he'd be looking for that up throw. So great awareness there by Player 4, as well as just, you know, general matchup knowledge. Psych Up up throw is one of those really classic kill uh, confirms for Vivi. And something, um, Player 4, I feel like with that same logic, kind of closed out that stock by dash attacking Vivi's landings, knowing that Vivi didn't want to throw a move that wasn't killing. Mm -hmm. I had a feeling he would kind of just empty land right there with the Psych Up. So, Player 4 showing some signs of adaptation, showing like clearly he knows what he's doing. Just sometimes you get overwhelmed. Sometimes mm -hmm. you can kind of just never get a chance to get your footing, especially with Hero, a character that you can't really leave alone for too long because he will get a range of spells and be flashing Christmas lights and kill you at 2%. He becomes an infinitely better character. But yeah, this matchup, I mean, I'm not going to make any bold claims about like the ratio of it because I don't play either of these characters, but it looks <laughs> it looks difficult. Yeah, third time's the charm that time around. <laughs> Rule of threes. It's very cinematic. And honestly, not to uh, discredit VB, but I feel like Claire 4 knew a third one was coming, went above him, but the hitbox of that uh, side B is a little deceptive. It mm -hmm. can anti-air like that, so... That's just unfortunate. Oh, Ooh, 42. Deck right now. Quick little 42. Yeah. And Psych Up. Gotta... Just, yeah, and that smash will kill right here, but... Yeah, and I, I think any aerial sends up air or oh. a dash attack will do that. Kazap. Oh my god. Yeah, that's a stock. Um, player 4 got hit twice and then got Kazap with a shield break, so rough stock, you know. Yeah, I think it was... 
it was a little bit ambiguous because Vivi had both Oomph and Psych Up, and I think Player 4 was maybe banking on uh, his one combo opening starting to uh, get rid of that Oomph timer, but it's just hard to tell because it's red and red. Yeah, red and redder. Uh, <laughs> but Varying it... levels of angry. <laughs> Mr. Saturn. And the Psych Up again just, oh, that was good. Do you think Vivi plays with Mr. Saturn? He did, he did a little bit of Z-drop. Okay, if Hero's psyched up and has a Mr. Saturn, what do you do? <laughs> Either you Yo, shield, shield the move. Shield break for shield break. Yeah. Um, and you needed that. Oh, no! no! He got the stock for you. Yeah, after How could after you? everything you guys went through, I kind of wish that Thwack killed, you know? <laughs> right? Yeah. But uh, That would have been karma. Nice shield there by player four. Very low mana on Vivi right now. Just kind of walling things out with the sword hitboxes. Not looking for too many of those buffs just yet. Zoom taking him right back to stage. I think something player four has really got to think about is taking more airspace in this matchup. You know, we see him get some dash tags and stuff. That's really Peach's only like ground burst option. I feel like uh, Float has not been utilized enough because I feel like Vivi just has not given him the time to. That time, though, the psych up up throw. <laughs> Accelerodle. You just kind of kind of have to wait this out. Oh, if you have the luxury to, because Hero can teleport right where you are with that <laughs> landing Nair. And that is just like, it's like, I just don't know how player four is going to bring this back because he's never the one creating the openings. You know, he gets his hits in when he can, but Vivi's the one who's forcing everything. So it, player four is going to need to totally change his game plan to make a comeback like this. Yeah, it really feels like the momentum has been completely dictated by Vivi. And it's just, you know, when Vivi makes those mi missteps that player four is able to find his openings. And, you know, trying to force the issue right now, player four is at 124 and still has an entire stock to go through. Yeah, and Vivi, is, I don't think has died early once this set. Granted, I think he's only died twice, now three times this set. Um, pretty, pretty solid percent to take a stock right there. Oh, oh. that hitbox lasts forever. You know, oh, uh, here it comes. There it is. Clutch. Yeah, not gonna miss that though. Player four, so consistent. Player four, classic. Yo, does he have Mike and Ike? So I'm holding a little green box. <laughs> that that would be funny, but um, yeah, it, it's it's really like okay. Also, I gotta say, I'm with player four here that I always instantly air dodge, and every time I die for it, like mm -hmm. you're supposed to kind of wait in that little win box for a second, then air dodge at the end. But I, I sympathize here. It's really just like you have to unlearn everything you do about every other projectile when a kaboom's thrown yeah. at you. You gotta wait a second. It's really awkward. Ooh. Double shield break to start off the set. We didn't get to I see the tragic fate yeah, of Mr. Yeah, I appreciate Saturn. not having to relive that pain. Thank you, House 3000, for not Thank showing you. that again, because I don't know if I could have handled it. <laughs> I might have just broken down Needed a, yeah. a content warning for that one, for that replay. Okay, but clean stuff all around. But so clean, get to show it twice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, uh, probably because he died so immediately after right there. Rough stuff. But yeah, that um that is a great showing from VB. Looking mm -hmm. looking Absolutely. like he's playing good. You gotta swap out. Okay. Oh, Stop we're doing a swap. Oh. Sorry. Folks, I have to swap out really quick. Looks like I have to play in bracket. It, it has been a great time commentating and I think I'm coming back on later, but uh Absolutely. Till then, peace out. And I think I'm I'm still on.